What's going on, everybody? I am the goods on YouTube and in an effort to uh, kind of crank up the content a little bit because I know I was kind of slowing down, speeding it back up. Today, I'm talking about PC Basket. Now, this is an international roster. It's a roster mod, so there's going to be art files that you need to add on. But it is only for PC. But I will say if you have 2K20 on PC, this is 2K20. But let me let me stop you before you click off of this video. This mod is incredible. Just speaking to um, the amount of sheer content within this mod in itself is incredible. Now, this roster has been done before. The creator is Shua Jota. Shua Sure, Holter, sure, Jota. I always go back and forth with that, but anyway, that's the creator. You guys can go sure, sure, Um, and he's always housing mods and um, you know, making mods available for the community. But I met sure, Jota on NLSC. Uh, I met him way, uh, I don't know, I think it was 2K17, maybe, maybe it was 2K16, don't remember, but he was making some horrible faces. But I do want to say. I was encouraged by his horrible faces because I was like, this is good. This is what we need in this community. We need people that actually are excited to create mods. And what do you know? A few years later, he is actually one of the most recognizable names in the PC modding community. Um, a lot of people know who he is. A lot of people know he creates cyber faces and he created a ton of cyber faces that you are going to see in this video. I mean, hundreds of cyber faces. And so yesterday I was playing this mod and I was just like, man, this is this is it. If you want to have now forget about that TNT scoreboard. I didn't even bother checking to see if I had the correct scoreboard in the Euro League. The EuroLeague scoreboard for this mod actually looks way better, way better than that TNT scoreboard, in my opinion. But anyway, uh, I was going through the rosters and I was like, oh, my God, look at this. This guy's going to be playing for Denver this year. Oh, my God. They got Jeffrey Taylor. Jeffrey Taylor, I used to play with him and my uh, association uh, and my association with the Charlotte Bobcats back in 2K13. Like I made him become a star. He was like my second star on the Charlotte Bobcats. But um Rudy Fernandez, one of my favorite players back when he played for the Blazers. I don't really feel like, you know, he. I felt like he could have filled a better role. But I was just like, it's so much nostalgia and, and also, um, you know, excitement for guys that are going to be in the NBA going forward. And I'm just like, man, look at all these guys. They're right here in this league. They're right here in this league right now. Even a guy like this, who is this? Anthony, um, is it Randolph? Randolph, Anthony Randolph, something like that. I think that's his name. But um, he used to be like back in 2K12. Um, he would always become like a super stud because he had he had high potential. So whenever you were playing like the franchise mode, which back then was association, he would always become like not always, but most of the time he would become a stud. But anyway, this roster has so 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 many teams and i think i don't even think i updated it all the way to version 2.0 on my end which i need to do um i'm actually waiting for version 3 to come out because it's going to have even more um updates to rosters i think they're going to update it to 20 2020 20 hold on 2020 2021 season which is going to be the uh, current season I think they're going to update the rosters to that So that's going to be fun um, Man this is just A mod and a roster that you guys Have to check out but anyway getting back To Shua Jota yeah like that guy uh, I'm just glad he stuck with it. It, it it was a few Years where you know he would Start a mod and then People would get upset That uh, they would say hey man you always Leave stuff unfinished but in my Eyes I was looking at it like you know he, this is a person that was a newcomer at the time. Well, I mean, I mean, I guess after a year or so, you're not really a newcomer. But um, this was a person that was kind of new to building up rosters that are this large. And I was just like, man, this person is putting forth the effort. And I really appreciate Shua Jojo because I really appreciate him because he just kept sticking with it. No matter what people were saying about him, no matter the disputes he was having. So that's cool. And um, 
another thing that I like about the NLSC, like, man, we've mat- we've matured the creators over there. We've matured so much because we've been around each other. We've seen each other's mistakes over the years. Um, you know, we've had our disputes. But the good thing about NLSC is, you know, you got mature guys over there that try to that try to curtail or in in they try to get rid of the nonsense and really speak up on what the real issues are, you know, in terms of modding or whatever, or even bad practices. Because I remember for a while, like Shua Jota was um, releasing stuff with the what was those the ad links and it was just horrible for the community. But now he's releasing stuff without without the ads and i'm just like man look at the in the level of detail in his work and i'm like everything is just shining through and there's other guys that um oh right right here like right here this is a great example he's giving some credit to other guys in the community so let's go through this little spiel right here uh he said this would not have been possible without the help of some incredible guys like um, I'm not going to name these guys. I'm just going to highlight their name so that I don't get them wrong. And um, you guys can see on your screen. But anyway, he even he even gives me a shout out, um, which I'm very thankful for. But right here, he's, he said, I... Um, he said, I inspire him to begin designing renders. And that was the story I was telling you guys earlier. Monkey Man, Greg K. Waste, Twist, D for Three, all these names of all these people. Um, and I think most of these people, even the guys that were named earlier, like most of us, we kind of, we kind of, um, hang around the NLSC, even though there are other great modding sites, kind of like surejota.com where you can get, get mods. And then there's other places like 2krosters.com, which is more than just PC stuff. It's all consoles and PC. And then there's places like uh, the Modding Society. These are great places to cultivate, um, I guess, cultivate creativity and get with other guys that or other guys or gals our peers and just kind of release and express our creativeness and then work together and come out with something like this not for profit though this stuff isn't for profit that's the crazy thing about this and that's one of the reasons why i'm excited about this plus the biggest reason why i'm excited about this roster which has been out for a while is just it's just the fact that it's international rosters. Like, I don't think uh, ever since 2K took out the EuroLeague teams, which I think they did, I don't think they really tried hard at all with the EuroLeague teams when they were in. But ever since they took them out, I mean, I don't think people really say much about the EuroLeague teams because, I mean, the game is NBA-based. But I would like to see more channels and stuff do series about uh euro league players and of course you can't do that with like my team content and park content you kind of got to do it with the franchise mode my league and my nba but anyway this is a great mod you guys definitely should check out this mod i'm i've probably just been rambling on but proud of sure joja coming this far and being able to do this with this roster i'm proud of that whole team you guys have done amazing work i'll be waiting for version 3.0 i'm out guys